first, it's a good idea to look at how the EZ fields evolve over the simulation before we check the error. Here's a snapshot of the fields at the end of my simulation. In this case, I kept nmax equal to 20,000 as it was before. If the PML is working well, the pulse propagating to the left of the source should look like it's just propagating right off the grid with no visible reflections. But here, you can see that the entire pulse hasn't propagated off of the grid yet. So one thing we should do in order to adequately test the PML is to increase nmax. It was 20,000 before, and I'm going to try to increase it to 35,000. After increasing nmax to 35,000, I see this at the end of the simulation. Now it looks like there was enough time for the pulse to propagate all the way into the PML. Next, as you ran your simulation, you may have noticed that there is a reflection occurring on the right side of the grid, since the last EZ field is not being updated. It's just equal to zero for all time steps. Do we need to care about this reflection while we test the PML? Especially since we're comparing the EZ field 10 cells to the left of the source with the EZ component 10 cells to the right of the source?